No, some I'm people want to education. go to Europe. They like Europe is something I can do over no, there. No, honestly, I had, I've done a lot of stuff in France, and I was happy, and I've done, I built a business, and I've done a lot of things there that I'm happy about. But it still wasn't enough. You feel the limitation. Oh, yeah, the there's especially, there's enough enough of of especially as a woman, and especially as a minority woman. In France. But you see, in France, it's a catalog. It's macho. It's a macho country. You know? It's still a men country, and it's still very. Um, and it's the minorities still have hard time. We don't get jobs easily. And There's that was an entertainment. You know? mm -hmm. So. I'm born and raised in Paris, and my family immigrated from Algeria. So it was an average type of family in, uh, in Paris and um, I went to high school there and I was raised in those two cultures, you know, the Algerian, which is the Berber, because they are Algerian and Arabs and I'm Berber, so uh, there's the Kabyl way and the French way, so I was raised in both cultures, which I appreciate very much. Uh, so when the company I was working with was trying to lay off uh, people I, I realized that maybe that was the time for me to give it a try and to leave for New York so I I was ready in my head I wasn't ready financially at all I had a thousand dollars my account I didn't have a job offer and I didn't know who was really gonna be there to help me out uh, I was really scared but at the same time I was scared and at the same time I was excited and when I got to the airport and I, I said to myself wow Maybe that's my reality check. Maybe I need to be ready that it's not going to be easy, but um, I'll try anyway. In the beginning, when I first came here, my biggest struggle was um, was able to, to find a, a way to be here, which, because I had no financial really background. So I had to find a job, and I had to, to find a place, and I had to really adapt to being alone, completely alone in a continent. and. Um, Adapting to another culture was also a struggle because we were raised so differently and even though a lot of people in New York are not American totally, it's just still an American way of life that you have to adapt. So I love my job and I have a lot of friends from France who I grew up with in the music industry that I have moved here and it's like we're sharing the same goals and the same excitement and the same background. So. It enable us really to, to really take advantage of what's here and, and I really like it and it's very entertaining. Every day there's something to do and um, you have always friends coming to New York. It's a really a, like a, a mecca place for the entertainment and there's a lot of people coming in and it's just a very interesting city and so that makes my life really nice. Working for the UN is um, something my parents really appreciate because they never were really fond of the music business, uh, but they, you know, they realized that I made it a business, that I really worked in the office and I was working the record labels and in the label and I was making good money. I handle a lot of youth programs uh, in the different regions of the world and where we gather youth. We build a network of youth by uh, organizing different summits in different regions with the UN where young people who in their country are helping with development and using sport and culture as a tool for that has come together and we have organized conferences where they came and spoke about it and exchange ideas so I follow up on this network neg regularly or I organize another region we organized recently the Global Youth Leadership Summit which was the compilation of all the summits we did in the different region in one place here at the UN. So it was 400 young people and two per country. It was like interesting and crazy uh, to have all of them in one place. And um, so this, a lot of youth um, network, I moderate the conversation, I translate if needed, especially French, Spanish and English when it comes to Africa. The other regions we try to keep it English as much as possible. And um, so that's a lot to do with the youth. And then I handle uh, celebrities as spokesperson, like Papa Mal, um, Salif Keita, Kofi Olomide, Yusundur. Um, I had work with Zidane, uh, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho right now, and Serena Williams, and the Italian team soon. We, we don't have any limitation of who we're going to work with because a lot of people are trying to be involved with the UN. 